Elizabeth Cady Stanton, A Cry for Equality Elizabeth Cady Stanton was a women's rights activist whose career covered the entire latter half of the 19th century. She was a writer and lecturer famous for her passionate speeches and powerful oratory skills. Her most famous works include the Declaration of Rights and Sentiments, which she brought to the Seneca Falls Convention that she herself had initiated, and called for all present to sign the document, which was basically a rewriting of the Declaration of Independence to suit the women's ideals. In it includes the quote, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal. The solitude of self was her retirement speech and perhaps her most desperate and moving appeal of all. The history of woman suffrage, which she co-authored and edited along with two others, served as a sort of textbook for the future of the movement. In it, she says, The moment we begin to fear the opinions of others and hesitate to tell the truth that is in us and for motives of policy are silent when we should speak, the divine floods of light and life no longer flow in our souls. As you can see, Stanton lived in a tumultuous century going back and forth between political trends and controversial topics. Her career as a women's rights activist began in the 1840s and continued on until her death in 1902 as she refused to be silent about the injustices she saw. She was born into a time of movement and progression as the United States expanded and welcomed in new races to the melting pot, meaning that society's issues came to a head. The antebellum, civil war, and reconstruction all had astronomical effects on the address of civil rights and the acknowledgement of stereotyping in general, not just African Americans. The women's rights movement had primarily dovetailed with the abolitionist movement, and it wasn't until after blacks were given the vote that the women split off and were forced to lobby for their own suffrage separately. This hugely affected Stanton's writing as it made her goals attainable as she saw the rights she so coveted passed out to a new set of people. The Gilded Age and Progressive Era were both periods of over overall social activism and reform, and she was a tremendously significant part of that. While a bit obvious in terms of historical events tied to her, when in 1920 women were finally granted suffrage, they had Stanton to thank to an incredible degree. America is a country known for its open political and social discussions, and Elizabeth Cady Stanton's passionate appeals for women's equality are among the most important in the nation's history, as she was one of the very first to dare speak out on this horrible discrimination. She speaks on behalf of women over the centuries and is a huge contributor to the open political arena of today in acknowledging issues in general rather than letting them fester and go unaddressed. Elizabeth Cady Stanton, when she passed away, left a thriving political force of women who fought bitterly for their liberties. Susan B. Anthony was her successor as president of the National American Women's Suffrage Association. Stanton's legacy is one of boldness, stubborn perseverance for what is right, and the American demand for liberty. While not the same household name as her successor, Stanton came up with the very notion of demanding women's liberties in America, among them voting, and left an army of women in her wake. Stanton's demands set a precedent evident today by the plethora of political protests and that Americans feel they can speak up about every little issue. Interestingly enough, Elizabeth married a moderately successful politician who actually disagreed with enfranchising women. At their marriage vows, she specifically had the word obey omitted because she felt it was too oppressive. Hope you've learned a lot. This was Elizabeth Cady Stanton.